It's important that we have that agility to learn on the fly so that we can make sure we include people rather than exclude people when it comes to having different cultures in your organization, your team, or dealing cross borders and cross countries with different clients. Kia ora, hi, I'm Craig Johns, high performance leadership expert, CEO and managing partner of Speakers Institute Corporate, and the founder of Gravity of Leadership. Now in today's episode of the Gravity of Leadership series, we're talking about cultural agility. What does that mean? Uh, just because I've been to another country or I have other cultures around me, doesn't always mean that you are street smart when it comes to culture. It doesn't mean you are business or corporate smart when it comes to culture. It doesn't mean you are travel smart when it comes to culture. It's important that we have that agility to learn on the fly so that we can make sure we include people rather than exclude people when it comes to having different cultures in your organization, your team, or dealing cross borders and cross countries with different clients. Even if people have been living in Australia a long time, if they're from different cultural backgrounds, we need to be agile and need to take some time to understand their cultures better. Now, we're not always going to get it right, and I don't ask you to know everything about that culture, but I need you to understand a little bit more every time you interact with that person. Get to know them, understand what's culturally uh, valid and what's culturally not accepted. So what are those behaviors that aren't or aren't accepted or those cultural norms? How do we deal with those situations? So it's a fascinating place to be, but those who sit in a space of, this is what we do around here, or this is how we do this because of my upbringing, that's going to get you in trouble this day and age. As we globalize more and more, it is so important that you have cultural agility and awareness to make sure everyone feels included and you don't accidentally or unintentionally exclude people from a conversation, from a team, and from a sense of belonging. Remember, it's important to create a gravitational pull, not a gravitational push as a leader. What is your gravity of leadership today? Ka kite anō. Can't wait to see you next time.